Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban has threatened to veto the EU budget in yet another sign of fierce infighting blighting the bloc. In a jolting letter to EU bosses Ursula von der Leyen and Charles Michel, Hungary's strongman said he would not support Brussels' financial package due to the proposed rule of law mechanism. The condition in the plan requires member states to uphold the EU's democracy rules. Mr. Orban argued a violation of the rule of law is too vague a term to include in the budget and insisted the term doesn't correspond to the package agreed in July. He was referring to the financial framework of over 1 trillion euros for the years 2021 to 2027 which was agreed by EU heads of states in the summer. Around the same time, leaders agreed a 750 billion euros fund for reconstruction aid in light of the coronavirus pandemic. His warning letter was also delivered to the incumbent German EU Council Presidency and the Portuguese government, which will take over the Council Presidency in January. The Hungarian leader is now on track to thwart efforts by EU bosses to pass the budget which requires unanimous support from governments. Hungarian news website Mandiner.hu published excerpts from Mr. Orban's scathing letter. Addressing EU heads, he wrote, even if Hungary feels obliged to cooperate, in light of developments it cannot deliver the unanimity that is necessary for the package that was approved in July. According to the outlet, Mr. Orban delivered harsh criticism of the planned sanction mechanism which he said was based on legally vague definitions such as violation of the rule of law. He said this creates opportunities for political abuse and violates the requirement of legal certainty. An EU source confirmed the letter had been sent to the offices of European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, EU Council President Charles Michel. On Thursday negotiators from the EU Parliament and the member states agreed to introduce the rule of law mechanism in the next community budget. The allocation of EU funds is to be linked to compliance with the rule of law in the 27 member states. The financial agreement is essentially based on a compromise proposal by the German Council Presidency. Under the terms of the plan, the EU Commission would propose sanctioning any nation found to have violated the terms. Member states would have to confirm sanction action with a qualified majority 15 of the 27 countries. The majority would be representative of 65% of the EU population.